Good day guys, my name is Mahulan. In today's video, we are going to watch the part 2 of the Metroid Adventure Cam. The part 1 was released last week. If you haven't watched the part 1, I have provided the link of that video in the description. Please watch that before watching this video. And if you guys are new to this channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon. And without further delay, let's jump into the video. The next croc is here and his name is Troy. We are going to feed this crocodile now. This crocodile is staying under the water. So our guide is throwing some stones and banging meat on the water surface to give signal and to get that croc out of the water. Ooh, there he is guys. Troy just jumped out of the water hunting for that meat. Ooh. He is trying to catch the meat swinging before him. So now the crocodile is coming towards us and we can have a closer look now. This buddy is nearly 5 meter long guys. Look at the size of him. Yeah, he got the meat now and he is happy guys. Our mate is saying that the crocodile can't eat while they are under the water. They will either come out of the water or push their head out of the water while they eat. Engulf him, potentially sink him to the bottom and drown him. Yeah, absolutely. And also he is saying the most dangerous part to stand near a crocodile is the back part from the center of its body, as it can smash you by its tail and chew you. Now we are going to feed the next crocodile. We are trying to get that fellow out of water. If there are water bubbles coming to the surface of water, we can say the crocodile is coming out of water. That's an indication, guys. There he is, guys. Another big crocodile. You should have looked at the way he came out of the water. You can see how high this one is jumping to catch the meat and he is trying very hard. You are fast, young. Almost all the crocodiles are very furious when it comes to food. This croc was brought here only last month and haven't got any name. Ooh, it just swallowed the meat, guys. He ate the meat and resting peacefully now. Wow, look at his size, guys. You can see how furious he is. Crocodiles are the most dangerous animals in Northern Territory, Australia. This buddy, Joe's, is resting there and you can notice his back out of the water. Now we are going to feed a female crocodile and she is white in color. Wow, this croc is so fast guys. She didn't wait for the meat. She caught the meat so fast and got into the water quickly. Now you can see she is trying to chew her food, putting her head out of the water. Alright guys, now we are going to feed the oldest and heaviest crocodile here. You can see the name of this crocodile on the board. The name is Tripod. This is the very first crocodile Madrid rescued and it weighs around a ton now. 
now we are swinging the meat before him and he will soon come out of the water and grab that meat piece. As this crocodile is too heavy, he couldn't jump or hunt the meat furiously. But still, it is so strong and it can chew you into pieces, guys. Still, he can chew you. You can probably feel the attitude of this crocodile. It is just like, I can't jump or fight for meat, mate. Get the meat to my mouth. Tripod is the very first crocodile rescued and brought here by Matt Wright. Oh, finally he grabbed that meat guys. He is going to enjoy his meal now. This crocodile weighs nearly a ton and also he is 5.5 meter long, the biggest crocodile here. You can see Tripod is really enjoying the massage given by our guide. Please keep in mind crocodiles are no pets and they are dangerous animals guys. Come on guys, let's go near to that crocodile and have a closer look. Look at his jaw and teeth guys. They are looking huge and so strong. He just had his meal so that he is a bit quiet, unless he would break my camera. Alright guys, now we have finished feeding the crocodiles. And now we are here in the camp area. These camps can be used to stay overnight. There are also facilities like swimming pool, bar and restaurant here. We are not going to stay here tonight. We are here to relax for a while. Let's go and have a look at their property guys. This is the restaurant. Let's go upstairs and have a look guys. You can see this building is built up of steel structure, wood and metal roof. I can also feel a good breeze here guys. As you see, a pair of horns from a hunted bull is hanging on the wall. You can see wood on the top and rusted metal roofs on the bottom which make us feel like we are really in a remote place. This is the bar and restaurant where we can buy food, alcohol and soft drinks. This is the swimming pool here guys. You can see few of our people are already in there. Let's go and jump in there soon. This area is just like a campfire area where people can chill out in night but now there is no one because it is too hot. You can see a very beautiful rainbow. This is called as halos around the sun and the sky is so clear today. All right, everyone into the pool and let's go into the pool and join them.
These are the camps where people can stay overnight here. This place is so beautiful and cool guys, a must visit place in Top End. Alright guys, now we will be going for a heli tour in this helicopter. It's our turn. Come on, let's do this helicopter tour over this beautiful place. Fasten your seatbelt, guys. Now we are taking off. We are increasing our altitude and first we are going to fly over a mango farm here. You can now see the mango farm and all the mango trees have been planted in a pattern and they look really cool from the top. There are a lot of mango trees here and the mangoes from these trees are being sent to the local markets. When you notice carefully, you can see there are a lot of birds flying away from the trees due to the sound of this helicopter. There are other trees different to mango trees too. Now we are entering into a jungle area. When we pass this jungle, we can fly over the Finnish river where we did our boat rides in the part 1 of this video. Now you can see a part of this river is full of algae. When we go along this river, we can go to the clear part of this river. We are heading to see some buffaloes and pigs now. Let's go. It is a bit hard to find out where the buffaloes and pigs are here because it is too hot and they would be probably hiding in the shades. Guys, you can see some buffaloes there and there is a pig running down there. There is also another pig with its babies behind the running pig. This is the part of the river where we did our boat rides.
I would say there will be a lot of crocodiles in this river. This is the place where the crocodiles are being kept and you can see the aerial view of their habitat. This place looks so good from the top guys. Now you can see the camp area with restaurant and swimming pool. In the left you can see a land area which is being made in the shape of Australia. There will be a canal going around that area soon and it is under construction. Look at the camp area from the top guys. It is so cool and the grass is well maintained. That's it guys, end of our heli tour and we are going to land now. Guys, the helicopter in the behind is the one which carried us. Alright, I would say that's the end of this video. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you all in another beautiful episode. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.